Let us be gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of God be with you. Our brothers and sisters, we pause now as we begin our worship to call to mind God's merciful love and forgiveness. And remembering the commission that is ours to share that love and forgiveness with others, we say, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to do good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to from the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raised up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people were gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise against this generation and condemn it, because of the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord.
Well, if we hear a little bit of frustration in the voice of Jesus in this uh, gospel passage from Luke, well, it's because he was. He was frustrated. Because he uh, is continually being asked for signs to prove who he is, prove that God is truly working in the midst of the people uh, through him. And, and so Jesus enumerates in this passage uh, those signs that have already come and how other people have responded and holding up the example of um, the queen who came from the south uh, to marvel at, uh, at the feet of Solomon the king and, uh, and went home um, cha a changed person, um, believing, uh, changing her, her faith practice, believing in the presence of God in her life. And the people of Nineveh who, um, who changed their habits, their way of life, uh, at the preaching of Jonah, who went through Nineveh preaching the good news. They've had these and many other witnesses and symbols uh, of the presence of God and God's healing and forgiving and loving presence and yet they still ask for more. They're not aware of what's right in their midst. And Jesus has to keep reminding them there's something greater than, greater than Jonah here. There's something greater than Solomon here. Sometimes we too fall into the habit of wanting more, another sign, a deeper sign, a sign that we want uh, from God. And we neglect to see the signs that are around us that show us of God's presence and God's love in our lives, showing us the faithfulness of God. Let us uh, collect our prayers and bring them before our God. <clears throat> On this uh, day that we celebrate also as uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, we pray in thanksgiving for the lives of all those people who have walked these lands before us and for all that they uh, continue to teach us to this day about respect for God's creation. We pray. We pray for ourselves and for all the church that we may take notice of all the signs of God's presence that surround us. We pray. We continue to hold in our prayers the people of Ukraine who uh, continue to be battered by this terrible and unjust war against them. And for all who uh, suffer persecution and discrimination in our world, we pray. We pause now for a moment to bring to mind those other prayers that we bring with us today. For these we pray. We pray for those who continue to recover from uh, terrible storms and flooding. For those who have died, we pray. For Nick and for all we promise to hold in prayer this day, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, gracious and holy God, you who bless your people in so many ways, receive our prayers and strengthen us in holiness. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
How blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our offering may be acceptable to God. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful along with these offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us a share in his riches. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross he brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to those who follow him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and saints and the whole company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, indeed you are holy. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted as worthy of your presence. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, to the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Joining our voices, we now pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us show one another some sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to choose you, but only say the word of my soul.
Let us pray. We ask you, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of God come upon you, the blessing of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace of God. <laughs>